my god! Ah! Never mind. It's okay. I could put up another light, but I really don't want to, so I'm not going to. Okay, this light is really distracting and ugly, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do about that. It's still kind of bad. This is as good as it's gonna get. I have to be at work in an hour, so I just figured, well, let me just film a little something real quick while I get ready for work. I'm really self-conscious. <laughs> We're just gonna get right into it because I literally cannot be late to work, so. So I have my wet beauty blender. I just sprayed Mario Badescu spray, whatever the heck. I don't even know what it's called. Let's just get right into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is brows, but I've been doing like my brows a little bit lighter recently just because, I don't know, I'm too lazy to do it full out. Also, I got my nose pierced and I got, this phone keeps going out of focus with the lights and I'm gonna have a panic attack. Come on. So I got my nose pierced and my cartilages pierced like a week ago, and that was a mess. I got a double helix, and if you don't know what that is, it's just two piercings right on top of each other on your ear. And I thought it was kind of weird because the lady never asked me like what jewelry I wanted. She just kind of just put whatever in my ear. She just asked me where I wanted to get poked. So I told her and I got it pierced, and it was all fine and dandy. I loved it. I thought cartilage piercing, I think cartilage piercings are so cute, but um, I was in Austin this past week because of state design for costume design. Surprise, I'm a, I'm a costume designer. <laughs> While I was in Austin, it hurt really bad. And like, it hurt too bad. Like, I started blacking out from the pain and someone hit it. And like, it was just, non-stop like nothing could be touching it I had my hair up the entire trip and it would just hurt for no reason at first I thought it's just a normal like pain because obviously you just got a pierce like Anna it's gonna hurt a little bit I guess and so I was looking up on Google and whatever and I was like um what's the signs of an ear infection in a cartilage piercing and like a lot of websites were like it's only 33% chance of it being infected but if it is infected it's very 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 crucial that you go to the doctor or something so like three days after i got it pierced it started like it started like getting uh like really puffy and really red and really gross and like stuff was coming out of it and i just i was so pressed and so i called my mom because i'm a baby and i can't do anything by myself and she decided to take to drive all the way from Dallas to Austin to take me to the emergency room because that's what all the websites were saying. It's like, if you think it's affected, go to the doctor because your ear could get deformed and fall off. So that's what I did. They're like, yep, it's infected. We're gonna take your earrings out and we're gonna put you on mega antibiotics and we're gonna numb your ear because you keep like kind of blacking out from pain. So that's what happened. They numbed it, took my piercings out and then gave me like two types of antibiotics that I haven't been taking because I can't take fat pills. So I'm emotionally scarred. They were so cute. I didn't even take pictures of them because I'm an idiot and I just didn't. Yeah, and I don't think I can ever get a cartilage piercing again because I don't know if I'm allergic to the jewelry or what. I don't know. Maybe my ear just can't handle it. Like it's not strong enough for it. I don't know, but I'm really upset because I paid so much money to get it pierced and then it literally just got taken out and then we had to pay medical bills. So... <laughs> Also, if you guys come at me sideways for getting my nose pierced after Rachel, here's the real tea. Rachel and I were supposed to get it at the same time, the same day, but since I was in a show, like I was in a play, we're not allowed to have like piercings and we can't dye our hair and stuff like that. Like we were planning to get it together. Rachel's just impatient and couldn't wait any longer. So I don't know if I'm gonna wear a foundation. Am I? I guess I am now. Junior year literally destroys every will you have. I don't know how to describe it. It's just bad. Also, if you're trying to take a push, don't unless you want to literally die. You don't know what that is. It's AP US history. It is like the hardest AP class you can take because it just takes up all my time and energy and then like just makes me want to freaking die. That's all. I'm going to use the ColourPop concealer in Fair 5. I think I've used it before on my channel too. It's the best concealer I've ever used. I like it better than shake tape for under my eyes because it's not as thick. Oh, also, 
I am posting a sponsored video soon. So, I like the beginning of my channel, I said that every time that I do a sponsored video, I'm gonna post like two videos that week because I understand like sponsored videos are controversial or whatever. I put on the Fit Me powder. I really like that powder a lot. It's really good and it's really cheap and it's also like really good. I already said that. And then I'm using the Better Bronzer. Same old things I've been using. Oh, Pixie Cuts. Okay guys, this is like a highly controversial, debatable topic. Not really. Why did I say it like that? I'm gonna get attacked in this video. I can already feel it because I'm saying things that are so weird because I'm so tired. Okay, so I've always, 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 always wanted a pixie cut. Like my entire life, I've been like, ooh, I want a pixie cut, I wanna chop my hair off. I'm just like. I'm just scared about pixie cuts because I'm the kind of person that just like I just like changing my hair I feel ugly when I'm bored so so I want to chop it all off so I don't have to worry about it but then at the same time if I chop it off I feel like I'm gonna worry about it because it's stuck for a long time and what I'm scared about with pixie cuts is that they're so like it's such a commitment like you why am I like not doing anything I have 20 minutes of everything so as of right now, I'm keeping my hair, but I've been highly considering just snipping it off, like just getting rid of it. Why am I still not doing anything? This video is just gonna be such an emotional mess. So I'm gonna grab one of my new favorite highlighters that I haven't shown on my channel yet because I haven't been posting any videos. It's a mix between the ColourPop Strobe Globe Loose Highlighters, which I don't think I've talked, maybe I talked about. Strobe Globe is my favorite shade that they have. And then I'm also using the Ofra Cosmetics Glaze Donut Highlighter. This is the one that they did with Nikki Tutorials. If I'm using loose highlighter, I spray it after. If I'm using powder highlighter, I put it on before. If that makes sense. It's kind of like a stupid reasoning, I think, but in my head it works, I don't know. Another thing that I've been using that I don't think I've shown on my channel, maybe I have, I can't remember anything, is this small, they call it an eyelash fan brush or something? I don't know. I think it's meant for like something on your eye, which doesn't make sense to me, I don't understand. But I've been using it for my face and it puts on highlights so intensely. I don't know if you, I don't know, do you see that? I don't think you do. No, I, I'm not sure if you really understand. Okay, so I'm spraying my face now with the Catrice Prime and Set. Prime and Fine fixing spray. Wow! And I'm also gonna put the glazed donut on top of it. I'm just going through an eighth life crisis. Eighth? Um, a seventh crisis? Cause it's not a quarter crisis. Quarterly crisis? I mean, I guess it could be a quarterly. Anyways, I'm just having like a crisis in my life right now. Crisis! I'll get over it soon. I think I just need to get out of school because school is messing me up. I'm using a Jouer lip balm thing. I actually hate tinted lip balms, but this one tastes good. I just feel like every time I wear a, a lip balm like this, I look like that guy from Monsters, Inc. I feel like I constantly look like him. Oh my God. Okay, so I was gonna put on mascara, but I'm just not feeling it anymore. I'm kind of bored. Okay, that's it. That's it for this video. It got really sad. I think just cause I'm sad.